This is filmed at 50 millimeters on a full frame camera because that's considered normal. And this idea of normal defines so many pictures that we take. 50 millimeters is the default for everything. Everything that's not normal is abnormal, right? Everything that's shorter is wide angle and everything that's longer is telephoto. It also defines the gear that we use. This is a standard kit lens and you can see 50 millimeters is right in the middle. The wide end is half of 50 at 24 and the long end is twice 50 at 105 millimeters. Why is 50 normal then? Is it defined by some aspect of camera gear or humanity or is it an arbitrary choice that maybe we should completely dismiss? To get the answer, we have to go back 100 years to the launch of the Leica One camera. This Leica One camera defined so much of modern photography. First, it was 35 millimeter, just reusing cinema film, but turned the other way. And that is the exact same size that is on our modern day camera sensors, at least the most common full frame type. And it also defined normal because it came with a fixed lens. You couldn't change it. And can you guess the focal length of that lens? Yes, it was 50 millimeters. I brought up this idea of 50 millimeters being normal and several people in the comments said that it's because 50 millimeters matched the human angle of view. So we can test this really easily, right? I'll, I'll put my camera down here and stand here and then I'll put my arms out straight and I'll wiggle my fingers until I can't see them in my periphery anymore. Just looking straight ahead and that's about the angle of view of my vision. If you're like me with typical vision and two eyes, this puts you at about 180 to 200 degrees. Whereas a 50 millimeter lens like this is about 45 degrees. Those two don't match at all. So we can immediately dismiss the idea that 50 millimeters is normal because that matches the angle of view of human vision. If you don't believe me, just zoom in to 50 millimeters and look through your lens and you'll see when you look through the lens, you can see much more out of your other eye if you open it. Obviously, it's not the human angle of view. But I do notice when I hold up my camera at 50 millimeters, the size of the objects in the viewfinder pretty closely matches what I see when I'm just looking at the world. So maybe normal was defined from the perspective of the photographer. What made the viewfinder look natural when the viewfinder was approximately the size of the film. Another take on this is that normal is when the focal length of the lens matches the diagonal measurement of the film plane or the digital sensor. And that makes some sense. It feels mathematically accurate, but the thing is for 35 millimeter film or full frame cameras, that diagonal measurement is actually 43 millimeters, not 50 millimeters. And 43 millimeters does not round to 50 millimeters. It would round to 40 or 45 millimeters, but definitely not 50 millimeters. And everybody seems to agree that it's 50 millimeters that is normal for full frame cameras. But the size of the image as I look through my viewfinder doesn't dictate the size of the image as you're viewing it. After all, when you look at me, you might be watching me on your phone held vertically, in which case the size of my head is certainly not the size it is in real life. Or maybe you're watching me on a 65 inch screen in your living room, in which case I might actually be bigger or look bigger than I am in real life. Obviously, as photographers, we shouldn't define things as how they look while we're capturing the picture. We shouldn't be choosing our focal length based on that. We should be choosing our focal length based on how the viewer will consume the image, right? Because that is ultimately the goal. Those are all the most popular theories on one of the most important aspects of photography, what we consider normal, what focal length we choose by default, how our lenses are designed and framed. And none of them make sense to me, but I would propose a new way to think about focal length. Think about the distance to the subject, how close you might stand to somebody 
depending on whether you're having an intimate conversation with them or you're trying to teach them something. So I've been at 50 millimeters and that actually feels pretty good for this type of content where I'm telling you something, not something personal, but something factual, something informational, because it's about the distance that your professor might stand from the students on the first row. Let's switch to a little bit wider of an angle. Let's try 35 millimeters. Here at 35 millimeters, this feels less formal and a little more comfortable. This isn't a professor giving a lecture distance. This is two coworkers pass each other in the hallway and they want to talk about that thing that they just had a meeting about. But it's still a little far. I still can't quite reach you. I couldn't share food with you. So let's get a little closer. This is 24 millimeters and this is the distance I would talk to my wife at. I could share food with you if we were at dinner. I could easily show you this camera without having to take a step towards you. This is the focal length that you FaceTime friends with when you can't get together in person. This is intimate. And in fact, this is the focal length that every smartphone manufacturer has chosen for their default. None of them chose a 50 millimeter equivalent focal length. Even when they have those lenses, they call that telephoto because it does feel distant. I don't expect the entire photography community to stop calling 50 millimeters normal, even though I don't agree with it. But maybe we can introduce some new language. Maybe 50 millimeters can be called formal and anything longer like 85 millimeters could be called distant. 35 millimeters could be comfortable and 24 millimeters could be intimate. And when you choose your focal length, you think about how intimate you want the viewer to be with your subject. In the comments down below, tell me what you think normal should be, what you think the default should be. And tell me one more thing. Tell me your age, because I'm going to guess that younger people are going to choose wider angle lenses and older people are going to choose more telephoto lenses. Bye.